Our first reaction when we had a chance to, uh, to read this a short while ago uh, was uh, pretty excited by the findings. And, and, and I can tell you specifically the reason why is earlier this year, uh, we polled our member companies at the Chamber. And we, we are a trade association of about 1,500 members throughout San Jose and Silicon Valley. And we asked them their biggest workforce development needs as they saw them going forward over the next few years. And it was interesting to see how those results really matched up with the with the broader findings of, of the report that Doug just presented. Uh, literally one in two of our member companies responded to that question and said their biggest perceived skills gap going forward uh, was in lack of proper licensure and certification for jobs surrounding middle skills areas. So when we looked at this report finding and saw that in the time and effort that we spend on, on workforce development inside the chamber, uh, that is something that we're particularly focused on. And so when we look at some of the policy recommendations uh, particularly how to incorporate some of the training received elsewhere uh, to here as you look at ways in which to, to really put more emphasis perhaps on the associate's degree level, making that more nimble, uh, as opposed to maybe what's become an, an hourglass employment model where a lot of efforts going to the top and the bottom of that to really try to fill that skills gap at that level. We're excited about those policy recommendations. Um, the only other thing that, that I think we would add uh, is that it, it's interesting, one of the, the things, I think, characteristics that come out of the uniqueness of this region, which Doug touched on, was when you talk about a population that is 36.2% um, immigrant uh, population, and then you add into that also the children of, of uh, first-generation Americans, you're talking about a significant portion of this population, and a lot of things that come along with policy proposals here in Silicon Valley that impact the whole, uh, also are of incredible benefit to uh, integrating the immigrant community into the new economy. And so I think when you look at some of these policy proposals, there are the suggestions that Doug laid out in the report, uh, but also some broader workforce development tools that impact uh, this population, which is significantly uh, made up of immigrants, which are a, a key part of our economy. Terrific.